we're having some problems in the paludarium. The worst problem I'm dealing with is water. You can see the filter did not last very long. It gets clogged up way too fast and the water quality is awful, just awful. And uh, what's happening here is that the skinks are spending most of their time in the water. So they're pooping in the water, they're peeing in the water, and I just don't have a good way to filter it yet. So I'm looking for suggestions, something better than what's going on back there for sure. Uh, the other problem I'm having besides that is crickets. These guys love crickets, it's a staple of their diet. However, crickets are freaking stupid. As soon as I dump them in here, they walk right over here, walk right into the water, and drown. Uh, you can see there's some dead cricket pieces laying around in here. Uh, they're seriously so stupid, I don't understand. After hundreds of millions of years, they still haven't figured out that they can't swim. Seriously, the stupidest animal in the world. Now this being my first paludarium ever, I'm not really up to speed on what the best filtration methods are. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I might go with one of those in-tank uh, turtle filters, maybe. Uh, the, the zoom in there, as you can see, just doesn't cut it. Now another problem I'm having is plants. These guys are big and they are stomping all my plants down. The ferns are taking a beating. Uh, obviously these guys here, look we got new leaves coming out here which is awesome. And then this one right here sending up a new shoot. There's one over here. These guys get trampled though. They like to spend a lot of time right here. They're still pretty skittish. The cool thing however is the female has burrowed herself in over here underneath the heat rock here. Now this is a regular rock with the heat source above it, so that's why I call it a heat rock. You can barely maybe make out the spiny tail here of the male. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Right in the middle of your screen, that's where the male ran over as soon as I came in here. Honestly though, the plants aren't doing that bad. Uh, I guess they're doing better than I thought, but this guy here definitely gets thrashed on all the time. And I'm probably gonna add some moss here. Something else I'm dealing with over here is, well, you can't really see it on the camera, but mold. There is mold growing on these branches here. Maybe if we come up this way, maybe you can see the mold a little better now. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. But this is uh, kind of normal from my research on a paludarium kind of going through the cycle of a paludarium you get the mold. I am going to start my own springtail culture, so hopefully those guys will take care of the mold. They do float, they don't drown in water, so pretty much let them go anywhere. They're small enough that the skinks won't harass them at all, and they can just float over here and take care of this mold for me, hopefully. So that's something I'm gonna be working on soon. My own springtail culture should be kind of fun. I'm also gonna do isopods. I still need filtration for the water, obviously before I can put any fish in here. And I don't know that I'm gonna put fish in here now after seeing what kind of bio load these skinks are throwing in here. Plus the dying crickets, like I said. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. I am gonna look around at some of my tanks and see if I can find any type of moss to throw on this ledge right here. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, so I did find a little clump of Christmas moss here, and we're gonna give that a try. There's also little pieces of stargrass in here I'm gonna have to pull out. You know what? I'll just let that float. If it lives, it lives. So I kind of just want to lay this out here like so. I'm gonna try to do this without using super glue. The idea here is that this will grow in over time, and it's moss, so it's definitely gonna need time. I'm thinking I do want to try something else right here as well. So I'm gonna move this leaf litter over, just make some room. Got some twigs in here as well. Yeah, right there. All right, let me show you what I got. All right, so my piece of moss is a lot bigger than I thought it was, so we're gonna just open up a much bigger section here. All right, this should be good. No, nope, there went the male. Apparently he wanted to go for a swim. Should be good, I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Look at this piece of moss, this is insane. I've been growing this outside for a while. I hope it's able to adjust to the warmer temperature, but it's been doing well outside. So we're just gonna plop it in here. Oh yeah, that looks really good. This this stuff is awesome. Look at that piece of moss. Hopefully I won't kill that, but holy smokes, is that really, really cool. Don't ask me what type of moss this is. I have no idea. I may or may not have found it somewhere and uh, started growing it. And I've got another piece that I'm gonna put on this ledge right back here and hope that it grows. 
Screw this Christmas moss. Let's let's do something else with this Christmas moss. Uh, put that Christmas moss right there for right now. And I'm gonna line this whole thing with that moss. All right, I've got another piece here to line the rest of this. There we go. And just put this plant on top of it like so. Some more Christmas moss over here. We'll just throw that up there. Boy, this stuff is just beautiful. I hope it works out for me. I'm gonna mist it down now. I thought that Christmas moss was looking pretty green, but after adding this mystery moss, it's definitely not. This is what green should look like. Hopefully it won't take long to root so the skinks can't pull it down, but we'll see. So here's what's interesting to me about these skinks, and maybe all lizards do this, I'm not sure, but when they go underwater, she particularly closes her eyes, but she also sucks in her stomach like that, and it looks like she hasn't been fed in years, but every time they go under, that's what they do. I've sat here and watched, and they can last up to about five minutes underwater before they have to come up. Usually they only take a couple minutes though and come up, but I have seen them stay down for as long as almost five minutes. You can see the male right here poking his head up maybe there we go and there he goes <laughs> but yeah it's been really interesting to be able to watch them and see how they behave see she's starting to open up her eyes now let's see if she comes up to the surface for air i'm gonna back off a little bit yep here she comes there she is and there she goes right back under got herself a fresh gulp of air and right back under she goes so they both come up for air now there you see the male in the background there. Female is right up front. And one last thing I need to do is add the babies. Here's one right here. After doing some additional research and talking to some people, I think I'm okay to add them. Don't jump on me be very angry and he jumped okay that's not gonna work there you go it's your new home buddy trust me you're gonna like this one way better probably not gonna see these babies anytime soon let's get the other little guy in there can barely see his head sticking out of there not really with the glass being all wet but there's his tail female still hanging out down there I'm giving you guys a sneak peek real quick on these new catfish I got some dwarf catfish they are full grown now some of you probably see some autos in here as well but that, like right there in the middle <laughs> being swarmed by these catfish if you guys know the name of these catfish if you think you can guess leave the name down below but I will have a video on these coming out shortly so in addition to the catfish video coming out, I also have a video coming out on the bikers I got probably almost two months ago. I'm hoping to maybe get a special guest in that video, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have suggestions for a filter, please leave it down below because I definitely need something. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.